Dog owners, brace yourselves. A mystery disease atypical canine infectious respiratory disease complex or CIRDC is spreading. This is not your typical sneeze and sniffle. It's a complex group of respiratory diseases with various potential culprits, including different viruses and bacteria. As of February of 2024, 19 states are dealing with outbreaks. Symptoms range from coughing, fever, lethargy, sneezing and runny eyes, to more serious ones like pneumonia. In severe cases, it can even be fatal. There's a possible link with a bacterium identified by the University of New Hampshire's Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory, but the exact cause remains veiled in mystery. The challenge with CRDC is that it can have multiple causes, making it a tough nut to crack for our canine companions. While vaccines are available, they have limited effectiveness against the newer circulating strains. But fear not, research is ongoing to identify the role different pathogens play in CIRDC. The exact cause remains unknown, and research continues to establish the role different pathogens play in CRDC. In parallel, cases of kennel cough, another upper respiratory infection seem to be on the rise. Kennel cough, or infectious tracheobronchitis, is often caused by Bordetella bacteria or the canine parainfluenza virus. It's a highly contagious disease, often spread through airborne droplets, direct contact or contaminated surfaces. A rise in cases has been observed in certain areas, making it a potential player in the unfolding health crisis. It's highly contagious between dogs, adding to the complexity of the current situation. William Hagens, a veterinarian at the Town & Country Animal Clinic in Hagens, Kentucky, told WIMT News that this new respiratory infection is causing more severe symptoms and a faster decline than regular kennel cough patients. They also reminded dog owners that there is no evidence that the disease can be transmitted to humans. So, how concerned should dog owners be? Well, let's hear what the experts have to say. Veterinarians across the board recommend that you keep your dogs up to date with their core vaccines and immunity supplements. This is a proactive step you can take to safeguard your furry friend's health. And it's just as important to avoid exposure to sick dogs whenever possible. If you suspect your pooch may have contracted a respiratory illness, don't hesitate. Reach out to your vet right away. Antibiotics might be prescribed, depending on the cause of the illness. Deborah Silverstein, a professor and veterinarian at the University of Pennsylvania, has some words of reassurance. She urges dog owners not to panic. The key, she suggests, is to stay cautious and informed. See the link for our full article in the video description. Remember, the well-being of your dog is in your hands. If your dog shows symptoms, get them to a vet. And on that note, stay safe.